before we get the video started, I need to remind you that it is sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> The most important thing is that it can't look like a gaming PC, but it has to perform like one because if Ashley finds out... Correct. <laughs> My friend Freddy has been a long time Diablo player, but due to his work and his recent marriage, he's had absolutely no time to play. However, he's recently reached out to me to build him a computer that would be capable of playing Diablo 3 because he's gonna have some free time coming up. Now, unfortunately, there's a catch. You see, his wife is kind of a strict, respectable female. I don't know if she watches my videos. She's a pretty serious woman. Wakes up at 6 a.m., meditates, goes to medical school, comes home and studies. Point is, she's all business. And I can imagine if she came home to this flashing rainbow light tempered glass computer, which was obviously built for gaming, it would upset her. So he's asked me to make it not look like a gaming PC, but perform like one. I've never been asked to do this before, but I imagine it can't be that hard. Okay, so it is 3 a.m. and it is officially Wednesday. And if you follow my channel, you know what that means. EVGA's midweek madness sale is going on and based off of what I can see here, even though I'm half awake, they have the perfect deals for us. Our first buy is going to be an EVGA GTX 970 for only $100. This is a really nice card in my opinion and I would comfortably place it in the medium performance category with the capabilities of high performance. If you saw the video I did with Brian from Tech yes City, then you already know that this card can put out. And this power supply is another really good deal. It's an EVGA 500 watt 80 plus white certified power supply and it's only going for $15. Now yeah, some of you more experienced builders are probably going to say, oh, you should be careful of that. They're B stock products and there might be a little bit of a risk with how long that power supply might last. However, in my personal experience, I've used about 15 of these things and none of them have failed me so far. Besides, it's impossible to pass up a sale like this. Like, I don't do drugs, but if crack was 50% off, I'm probably gonna buy some crack. Okay, our luck is actually insane tonight. After buying the graphics card and the power supply, I went on the Build a PC Sales subreddit and they have an amazing deal on a Ryzen 7 1700. They're selling it for only $170 and it comes with a motherboard. That value is actually insane. We didn't need a processor this powerful, but we're not gonna find a weaker one for a better price, so we're just gonna get this. So after all this, we will have our CPU, cooler, motherboard, power supply, and graphics card. And we've only spent $285. This is actually too easy. By the way, weird flex, but since we're already in my bedroom, I'll share a secret with you guys. I've got RGB literally everywhere. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day and we already have a deal for what I thought was gonna be the hardest part for us to find, but that is a case. And I went on OfferUp and I saw a Cooler Master case, which actually looks pretty boring. There's no glass panels, no RGB, which is gonna be perfect in this scenario because like I said before, it's not look like a gaming PC. So I'm actually already here at the house, so I'm gonna roll up and pick it up. Hi, is Alicia here? I'm looking to pick up the computer case. Uh, you have the wrong place. Oh, is this, this is no, right? Yes. What the heck? Okay, well, sorry about that. I didn't mean to bug you. I just, that was the address she gave me. That's weird. I don't know anybody named Alicia. I, I appreciate it. Sorry for bugging you. Okay. Um, that was weird. I reached out to the person to get an offer up and I didn't get a response. So I guess I'm not getting a case, whatever. Anyways, I have another deal set up for today. Again, on offer up, it's an SSD for 30 bucks. Pretty good deal. I think it's 240, 256. It's, it's a nice solid sized SSD. So hopefully that person shows up. Oh, hey, how's it going? Appreciate it so much. Sorry for being late, man. Okay, have a good one. You too. All right, so we have our SSD and all we need left is a case and some RAM. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the RAM that I used in a previous video that kind of failed me. I, actually, it failed me on the same exact processor. So I'm hoping that for whatever strange reason, it'll work this time. And what we're gonna do for a case 
I don't know. I, um, I just, I'm gonna keep looking around. I, I'll try to find something online. I have been looking for the last week for a case that has no tempered glass panels so we can see inside the computer and no RGB. That's what I've been trying to do. And I wanted one that was pretty cheap because I figure RGB, the lights, the tempered glass, all of that's more expensive than just a regular flat case. Guess what? It's not. It's not at all. I've been looking everywhere on Craigslist, on OfferUp, on the Facebook Marketplace, and then I couldn't find anything there, so I caved and I went to Newegg.com and I scroll through their website and I can't find anything without RGB or tempered glass or even acrylic glass that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I went to look for some stuff from Fractal Design. I really don't like their cases, but I figured they have a nice sleek black design. And this is the cheapest case they have that will fit our parts. The Fractal Design Define C. And it costs the same amount, it costs the same amount as an NZXT 500i. This is like the popular go-to case right now for people. And this costs the same as this. I'm not going to pay 90, almost $100 for a case that doesn't come with some of the nicest looking aesthetic of all time. And this is not it. This is not it. <laughs> Okay. And the best part is, and this is so counterintuitive, you would think, oh, if I just try to find the cheapest cases on Newegg, like it's gotta be some ugly looking stuff. No, <laughs> guess what? It's still RGB, bitch. Cases, lowest prices. Huh. Still tempered glass. Still see-through. Still RGB. It's like, I don't know. I guess it's because now that everyone wants RGB and tempered glass, there's more competition for this product. So more companies make it and it causes competitive pricing. But now that nobody wants not RGB and not tempered glass, whenever you want to get something, it's incredibly expensive because no one buys it, I guess. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm going to keep looking around. I'm going to hope something pops up. Our prayers have been answered. Thank you, RN Jesus. I was looking and I don't know how I missed this, but on the very last page of Craigslist, the final ad, it was about to expire, was a case from I think Fractal Design and it's going for, after our negotiations, 40 bucks. Now, this thing is apparently unused, but it's not being sold by the same guy who's advertising it. It's coming from his dad or something I, I think at least i hope i don't know but uh he's giving me a pretty good deal on it i think normally this case retails for i don't know 60 80 bucks i don't know why these things cost that much but they do so we're going over right now we're gonna pick it up and uh we're finally gonna have everything we need <sighs> my hopes prayers and dreams all invested into one craigslist purchase okay so We've got our case. I'm just gonna go inside. I'm gonna get this build started because I'm pretty sure we need to be over there in like the next three hours. Okay. Yay! Okay, Ryzen 7 1700, normally goes for $170, got it for $170 included with this motherboard. The AB350M by ASRock normally goes for $100 on Newegg, we got it included with the CPU. This is our GTX 970 from EVGA, normally retails for around $150, we got it for $100. Again, through EVGA, we have our power supply. It's an EVGA 500 watt white 80 plus certified power supply, Normally goes for about $45, we got it for 15. And we have our RAM. This is Corsair Vengeance 3. Remember, in the last video, it didn't work with the same exact processor. I don't know why I think it's gonna work now. I really hope it does. Got it for $70, normally retails for 85. Oh, it's a 16 gigabyte kick, clocked at 2400 megahertz speed. Don't tell me I need higher clock speed RAM, I'm on a budget. And our SSD, this is a crucial 256 SSD, normally retails for around 50 bucks, we got it for 30. And lastly, our little blessing from heaven, this is a Fractal Design Define C. These normally retail for $90, God knows why, and we were able to pick it up for 40 bucks. I actually think this is the same case I was complaining about on Newegg. Anyways, the overall retail value of a system like this is worth around $690 and we only paid 425. I know, I tried to save $5 somewhere, I couldn't. Smoke weed.
turning into a nerd. All right, so look at this thing. $425, not bad. I mean, I know the looks weren't emphasized, but I can't help but think, you know, this thing does kind of look pretty nice, even though we're not gonna be seeing the insides of it. Anyways, the goal of this thing is to perform moderately well, and honestly, I have high hopes for this thing. I think it's gonna perform pretty well. I don't know if we have a bunch of time to get Windows and Diablo 3 benchmarks installed, but we're gonna try. Anyways, take a look at this thing. You know, tell me in the comments, how do you think this thing looks? I, I kinda like it, but you know, obviously, I'm asking for your opinion, not mine. Okay, moment of truth. Fans are spinning. Fuck. Oh, wait, yes! Wait, no, what the, this <laughs> clickbait, what the heck? You see that, it didn't post an image and then it posted it. Okay, well, computer works. So, pretty excited about this. Let's get Windows installed. You see this shit right here? This unholy, not Christian mind server belonging ass rants. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would work better the second time around with the same exact model processor, but whatever, it's busted, we're not using it. Now, fortunately, I did have some extra DDR4 memory lying around, but the downside is, it's only eight gigabytes. But the plus side is it only costed $40, which actually brings our overall total cost to $395. Now the performance I'm expecting out of this thing, only paying under $400 is absolutely insane. Now I have to deliver this thing in the next, oh my God to be there in less than an hour. So I have Diablo 3 downloading right now. We're gonna try to quickly get some FPS numbers here as soon as it's playable, and then we're gonna run out of here as quickly as we can. <laughs> So this system actually kind of kicks some ass. We're getting easily around 130, 140 FPS on the highest settings in Diablo 3. So it must not be that demanding of a game, but like I said before, the 970 in this system has the potential to kick some absolute ass in the higher demanding titles. I doubt that's ever gonna be needed for this specific system, but honestly, this computer has some serious potential. On top of that, let's quickly address the eight gigabytes issue. From what I could see, Diablo 3 only takes just under four gigabytes to run the game. So on the small chance that Freddy's gonna need to alt tab out of the game really quickly, he will have the RAM to do so. Anyways, I'm really happy with this system, but now it's time to get going. Come on in, Chris. What's up? How's it going? Where are, <laughs> Where are we putting this thing? Let's put it right here. Right. So what do we got? What do we got? By the way, this is Alan. So he subscribed to your videos. Oh, okay. But nice then after you. like the three videos, he didn't like it. So uh, I feel like they get boring. <laughs> this is what we have. So inside. Let me see the nitty gritty. Oh, let me have. Let the old man have a seat. Let the old man have a seat. GeForce 970. Okay. So. Older but nice card. So okay. I've tested everything at the end of the day on a, a specific application, uh -huh. it gets around 140 FPS on the highest settings. Really kidding, you really? Yeah. This looks sick, what is this? This is, how much RAM is that? So, unfortunately it's eight gigs. Eight I gigs. had a 16 gig kit, but it's absolutely busted. I bought it from some Asian dude on the corner, never doing that ever again. And it looks like cooling, cooling, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And the best part is, is these cases, the Define C. Uh-huh. Feel the mat in here. This is actually for soundproofing. No so if way. it ever gets loud, well, it won't. With the operating system, that's me. Windows 10. Hello, Freddy, come on. Let's play some PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> this computer is solely for office work. If you try to play a game on it, it would probably explode. No, you're being drunk. No, no, I'm serious. I'm serious, actually. This thing will open and close Word, Microsoft no, PowerPoint, no, no. Office 365. It will never... I can almost guarantee you it will never play a game. I mean, tell me, does this look like a gaming PC to you? Huh? Huh? Does it look like one? Tell me. Huh? Overall, what do you think? Fantastic. All right. Thank you. That's I'm good to hear. You know. We're, we're going to install it. All right. We'll see how it runs. Yeah. Ashley, you can use it for all your office work, too. Yes. Yeah. Mm, office work? Yeah, office work. It's a great office computer. It's exceptional. <laughs> 
No, not possible. Ooh, okay. Before you guys get going, I do have to remind you one final time. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Now, before you click off, I wanna remind you guys that Squarespace is an all-in-one platform and this is why you should consider using them. Clearly, I've shown you guys that if you are interested in building a computer or if you have the capabilities to do so, which everyone does, there is some potential to make some pretty serious money. Now, how does Squarespace fit in? Well, with Squarespace, you can create a very professional looking website to help give yourself that professional feel if people want to buy a computer off you. The reason I highly suggest doing that is because there are other ways to have an online presence with social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, but with those social media platforms, people are gonna be looking at your number count, and if you don't have a number base, it's gonna be really hard to sell the fact that you're a legitimate builder. Having a website gives you a way to show that you are professional, have an online presence, and not need to be paying for a bunch of different followers to make yourself seem like you're legit. So again, I hope you found this creative, entertaining, and informative, <laughs> and I hope you have a great day.